All right, as companies lose billions over going woke, billionaire Mark Cuban claims it is just good business. He says, quote, there is a reason almost all of the top 10 market cap companies in the U.S. can be considered woke. It's good business. Most CEOs have enough experience to know to just wait out the news cycle until they go to the next one. But since their pride controversies, Target has lost nearly $15 billion in market cap, while Bud Light sales are down 24% compared year over year. Here with Reaction Chairman of O'Leary Ventures, Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary. Kevin, good morning to you. Good morning. Great to be here. Thank you. Okay, so what is Mark Cuban talking about? I mean, if it if it comes to name recognition, everybody's talking about Target and Bud Light, but it's not necessarily in a good way. You know, Mark and I are out here in Los Angeles taping Shark Tank. We had this very debate on the set yesterday during a break. I mean, oh, Mark's a little bit country on this issue. I'm a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> the thing about business is you can measure it. When you lose $9 billion of market cap, that goes right to the pocketbooks of shareholders. And you lose 26% share in a beer company, that's unprecedented in the history of beer. Never happened before. Usually those shares move up and down 1 or 2%. Mm -hmm. And they wiped out so much market cap in terms of value. So I don't agree. That's not a new a surprise between Mark and I. We don't agree on much. We're good friends, though. There's lots of room to have this discussion. But in business, it's all about the money. And what happened here is a very important lesson was learned by those boards of directors and the CEOs. Mm -hmm. The shareholders are not happy. So when you look at Disney, and another example, the CEO lost his job. So the CEOs know what they're doing, but not all the time though, from because of their woke policies and clashes with government. But I guess he's, I'm trying to figure out and you know, because you debated him, what he's talking about. Does he think that society changes, that if you look back 15 years ago about what we thought about same-sex marriage and other things, that we've evolved on that and that maybe business is ahead of society? Is that what he's building this on? No, I think what they've learned, and this is kind of important, when you're Disney or you're uh, you know, beer company or you're Target, you have customers of every kind, Republicans, Democrats, gender specific or in a gender neutral, it doesn't matter. You want to sell everybody everything all of the time. Right. When you get involved in partisan issues, you basically lose 50% of your constituency. Why you would do that when you're a consumer goods or service company, everybody's learning makes absolutely no sense. The role of a business, a corporation in America for the last 200 years has been to serve customers their employees mm -hmm. and their shareholders. Their role is not to educate society on the social issue of the day. They're learning that very quickly. And in the case of business, you can measure it by the second, when they're public, by the stock price. Sure. When you lose 9, 10, 11, 12 billion dollars of market cap, you know that you've offended somebody. And that person is your customer. That's bad business. <laughs> That's what I really thought. Really bad business. So I don't understand this school. I just don't get it. Well, I don't get it either, except I measure it. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah, they so, said they moved all of the displays to the back of the store. I was in Target yesterday, and, and the one here in New York. Now, New York's different than someplace down south, maybe. But um, it was right there in the middle of the store. When you walk in, you, I saw it. Mm -hmm. But how, how is it possible for any company that's trying to sell products and services to want to get involved in politics or social issues? I think we've learned multiple times that that is not good for their constituency. Sure. When, you, when, you actually, when you actually make somebody angry enough to stop buying your product, you have failed. <laughs> I know. I agree with you. I just like, I don't know. I'm just Kevin I'm, O'Leary joining us live today, channeling the Osmonds. He's a little <laughs> bit rock and roll, Mark Cuban, a little bit country. <laughs> Kevin, thank you very much for joining us live. And Thanks, on this, Kevin. he's a little thank bit crazy, you. I think. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.